Hello there, my name's Kathy Barker from Software Solutions, and I'd like to take you through an Excel session that looks at how you can prepare, process, and present data using Microsoft Excel. If you've contacted me, then I'll have sent you this file, and in this file, we've got a sheet simply called Data. And the theme that I've gone with here is we've got a membership situation. So we've got a variety of members, their first name, last name, gender, date of birth, the date they joined our particular organisation, their location and their age. The information that's in columns A to G has been entered and the information in column H is actually a calculation, as you can see here, that calculates their age. Now how many members do we have? If you're sitting in A1 and you press control down arrow, it's a quick way to get to the bottom of your list. You can see there's 201 rows, so minus the headings there's 200 members. If I press control up arrow, I'll go back to the top. Likewise, control right arrow goes to the right and left arrow goes to the left. And if you go control down arrow one too many times and end up in the weeds, so to speak, then simply hit control up arrow again and up arrow again. Alright, so we've got a list here. This is our data, hence why I named the sheet data, with 200 members. Now what I want to have a look at is when we scroll down this list of members because we're working with it so much, it's really disappointing that the column headings don't remain visible. So as I scroll down you can see they disappear. Now I don't know if you're aware that if you go to view in the menu, or the ribbon I should say, and you go to freeze panes, you have the option to freeze the top row. If I click freeze top row I can now easily manage this list and scroll down while keeping the first row visible. So that's the first thing I wanted to do. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to create a duplicate of this data sheet. So I'm going to hold the control key and drag the sheet name data to the right and drop it on extra data. I'll let my mouse go and then I'll let the control key go and I've made a second copy of data. What I'd like to do is now double click data to and rename this sheet options. Now why I'm doing this is I'm wanting to create a unique list of locations. At the moment column G has got a variety of locations and so what I want to do is remove any duplicates based on location. To do this we go to data in the ribbon and we go to the remove duplicates button. From here, you notice it selects all the data also. So that was assuming you were sitting in the list. So let's back that up a little bit. You must be sitting in the list, then go to data, then go remove duplicates, and you're able then to unselect all, and in the list of options, just tick location, because I'm wanting to create a unique list of locations. When I click OK, then it says 193 duplicates were found and removed, leaving me with seven unique locations. So I go OK to that, and here they are here. Now that I've got my list of locations, I no longer need columns A to F. So I'm going to highlight columns A to F just by dragging across the column letters, and I'm going to press the key combination Control minus. Control minus is a very quick way to delete columns and rows that are selected. If I click on B and go Control minus, I've deleted that as well. Now the next thing I want to do is sort this list alphabetically. So again on the data tab, and assuming I'm sitting in the list, there's a button here called A to Z, so I can sort them in ascending order. So if I click that, I've got Mount Monganui first and Tapuna last. So that's my list of locations, which we're going to use when we start working with our data. Now I'd also like a unique list of ethnicities. I'm going to go to this sheet called Extra Data. I'm going to make a duplicate of it, Control drag I'm then going to go to Data in the ribbon and remove duplicates. Now this is assuming I'm sitting in the list, so make sure you are. Remove duplicates, unselect all, and then just tick ethnicity. If I then click OK, I'm left with a list of six unique ethnicities, and 194 duplicates were removed. So I click OK. I'd like to remove columns A and B, so I select columns A and B, and Control minus is the quickest way to remove those columns. I'll then click in the list and sort this list in ascending order by going to data in the ribbon and choosing A to Z. And so Asian at the top and Pacifica is at the bottom. 
I then want to cut this out of here, so I'll select it and Control X to cut. I'll go to Options and to C1 and I'll press Enter and I'll put my ethnicity options into my options sheet. To widen this column, we don't drag the line between C and D, that's simply not cool. What we do is we double click the line between C and D, which auto fits the column. And I may actually reduce the width of column B, just so it's not so wide. Now I'd also like to create a third list of options, so I'm going to go back to extra data. In fact, before I do, I no longer need this sheet, so let me just right click the sheet and delete this sheet. And yes, I want to delete it. Notice the message says you'll permanently delete this sheet, and that is because deleting a sheet is something you can't undo. So you've got to be sure that you don't want it, and I'm sure I don't want it, so I'll hit delete. To make an extra um, copy of extra data, hold the control key, drag extra data to the right to generate extra data too. I want to create a unique list of statuses. So I'm going to go to data in the ribbon and I'm going to choose remove duplicates. I'll unselect all, choose status and I'll choose OK. I'll then go OK leaving me with three unique statuses. I'll select column A and control minus, and I'll select column B and control minus. I'll then click somewhere in the list and sort it from A to Z. And so this is a unique list of statuses that I then want to select control A, cut, control X, go to options, go to E1, and simply press enter. I'll then double click the line between E and F to auto fit the column, and I'll reduce the width of column D so it looks nice. So I've created my options. No longer need the extra data to sheet, so I'll right click this sheet, I'll delete this sheet knowing I can't undo it, and delete. So what I've got here is my data, some options, some extra data that I'm going to use for my V lookups and my X lookups, and these are just the notes that I'm following in this particular session. Going back to data, I now need to save the file and I'm going to choose to save it as membership version 1 because I might create a number of versions of this file. So I press the function key F12. F12 in all Microsoft applications is save as. I'm going to choose to save this file on the desktop and I'm simply going to call it membership dash v1. Now you may not have the xlsx on the end, um, that's just an option I've set in my Windows environment. Don't worry about that, just put dash v1 on the end of the file name and then click save. And of course what we'll see in the top here is membership version 1. So we've now got a sheet called options which has the various options regarding location, ethnicity and status. What I now want to do is moving forward I want to ensure that when people enter data into this list that they choose from a drop down rather than type the actual location, status or ethnicity. So for example let's start with location. If I click on G2 and I press Control shift down arrow and maybe I'll go down to row 300 because that's where I want the drop downs to appear. So I'm just holding the shift key and pressing the down arrow until I see the row number 300. At that point I want to apply data validation. So I'm going to go to the data tab in the ribbon and over here with a green tick is a button called data validation. Now if you click this button, at the moment people can enter any value into the selected cells. I'm now going to insist that they choose from a list. Now the list has to have a source, so I'm going to click in the source field and then with my mouse I'm going straight down to options and I'm going to choose A2 to A8 because that is the source of my drop down. If I then click OK, what I'll find is if I click on any cell in column G starting with G2, let's go there, you'll see there's now a drop down and they call this data validation and so now people don't need to know how to type something, they simply choose it from the list. It minimizes the chance of any errors being entered into that column. Let's do it for extra data. When it comes to extra data, I'm going to press Control Home, the key combination to get me to A1. I'm going to click on B2. I'm going to press Control Shift Down Arrow, and then I'm going to hold the Shift Down Arrow until I get down to 300. 
In fact, before I do that, let me press Control Home to get back to the top. I do want to freeze the panes on this particular sheet as well. So I'm going to go to View in the Ribbon and I'm going to Freeze Panes and Freeze Top Row. Now when I go to B2 and I go Control Shift Down Arrow, oops, sorry, Control Up Arrow, Control Shift Down Arrow, and then Shift Down Arrow down to Row 300, just using my eyeometer watching the row numbers, I can then apply data validation to these cells. So I'll go to Data, I'll go to Data Validation, I'll insist that they choose from a list, and the source of that list, if I go to my options, are the three types of statuses. If I then click OK, I've actually turned all of these selected cells into drop downs so they can choose the type of status I'd like to see shown. Let's do it again for ethnicity. If I click on C2, Control Shift Down Arrow, and then Shift Down Arrow to row 300, just using my iometer. There we are there. I'll go to data validation. I'll insist that they choose from a list. The source of that list are my options and in particular my ethnicities. I'll then click OK and if I press Control up arrow and then down arrow I can see that now any cell from C2 to C300 has a drop down where they can choose an ethnicity. So data validation moving forward ensures that people enter the correct data.